So it is evil when a strong lion bites through the neck of a weak lion in order to be with the lioness? Amirtek, we're people, not lions. True, we do not have tails or fangs, but we do fight, and the strongest survives. And it is also evil to rid Egypt of a boy who does not know how to give orders, but has already been selected to become Pharaoh, and wanting to be with a loved one no matter what. Is that also evil? Because I love you, my Annabelle. When you die, Anubis will turn away from you, and you'll spend eternity roaming back and forth along the shore of the River of the Dead, covered with sores and open wounds, whining with regret. Did I tell you how beautiful you are when you are angry? They will come for you when everything is in place to kill the prince. I would not want you to miss the best part, now would I? And afterwards, Annabelle, we shall adjourn to my chamber. But rest for now, you look tired. Annabelle! Akhenaten, can you hear me? Annabelle, I am doomed, my love. Please save yourself and get out of here. No, I won't leave you. I'd rather we died together. I'll see if I can turn off the mechanism controlling those blades. I just need to figure out how it works. Annabelle, you managed to turn it off. Osiris be praised. But I still can't reach you. I'm not strong enough to free you from these chains. Make a sword out of the amulets of earth, water, and fire. Akhenaten, you're free! Let's get out of here! Let us leave now, but I will be back to deal with Amirtek. Oh great Isis! Amirtek is already here! Well, what do we have here? The little lovebirds want to fly away? I am afraid that is not going to happen. Annabelle would have been my wife a long time ago if she had not fallen in love with you, boy. Just for that, I will cut out your heart. And with Isis as my judge, you shall be doomed to eternal sorrow. Amirtek, you had better think about where your current actions will lead you after you die. You insolent boy, no one can match my strength. I will crush you, and I shall do it in front of the princess so she can see that I am the strongest, not only in mind and power, but also in combat. Of course, she will cry a little over your lifeless body, but trust me, I know how to make her happy, and over time, she will forget all about you, Akhenaten. Annabelle, the priest has a magical talisman that makes him invincible. If we do not destroy it, I will have no chance. Please try to find it, my love. Are you okay? Sorry, my head was spinning and I was dizzy there for a second, but I'm okay now. Please continue with your story. Really? Okay. So, Annabelle managed to escape from Amirtek's palace. She made it to the ship only to discover her prince tied up and exhausted. They were taken to a remote temple so they could be sacrificed to the god Seth. But the princess managed to rescue Akhenaten. He got into a duel with the sinister priest and defeated him. The evil priest's remains were thrown into the Nile, where they were eaten by crocodiles. And that's how the story ends? That's right. Annabelle married Akhenaten, and they ruled Egypt together. Did they have any children? Of course. 
they had six children, and their firstborn son even captured Syracuse when he got older. What an interesting story. Annabelle, you look a little pale. Now, I know I'm not Akhenaten, but perhaps you'll let me escort you outside for some fresh air. Or even better, I know a fantastic restaurant not far from here, right on the bank of the Nile. I'm sure you'll love it. There's a wonderful view of the sunset. You can see with your own eyes, Ra, the sun god, as he gives way to Thoth, the god of the moon. That sounds like a wonderful suggestion. Let's go. Great. You won't regret it.